Hello, I'm Matt from Practical BI and welcome to another Power BI guide. This time we're looking at drill downs and hierarchies in Power BI. This is aimed at the absolute beginner, so no prerequisites required. Okay, so what is a hierarchy first of all? Well, we have hierarchies in everyday life in, in all sorts of areas. So, uh, for example, we could have a management hierarchy where we have a, um, a manager or let's say a CEO at the top of the, of the tree and then below the below that person we could have other other individuals and those individuals could also manage other individuals so um, we can have a, a hierarchy structure or an organization structure in, in, in that respect we could also have a, a hierarchy another common one is in, in uh, a date respect so we could have a year at the top within that year we have quarters within those quarters we have months and then we could go on to say in those months we have days and, and, and so on um, and so we, we, we do have hierarchies all around us and Power BI is fantastic at handling those hierarchies. But what about drill down? What do we mean by drill down? Well, drill down is simply um, being able to go into those individual hierarchies and navigate down through each level um, within a single visual. And Power BI again is, is fantastic at, at supporting us in, in doing that. So let's have a look at a practical example. Okay, so I've got a dashboard prepared here. Um, we're looking at absence data in this dashboard, so um, like employee absence data. Um, let's just have a quick look at the data so you can understand what we've got here. Um, so I'll go into my absence table. You can see we've got an ID for the absence, an employee number, um, and then some of the other fields that we'll use are the, the division department team structure here. So we've got a hierarchy here that we can see where division on top, um, and we've got a department under that and teams under, under the department. Um, and then we've also got uh, a couple of date fields that we'll have a look at hierarchies for as well. Um, so let's start off just by uh, looking at the bar chart that we've got on the left hand side here. So um, I'm just going to select that bar chart and you can see that at the moment we've just got the division as our uh, as our y-axis. And let's just expand our absence table here um, and we can see division there. Now let's see what happens if I drag in department which is the, the field underneath division. I'm just going to drag that into my um, axis field here. Uh, so I've got I've now got two in my um, two in my axis op uh, field there. So um, what you can see is that we've got these icons that have appeared at the top. Now these are the the drill down icons within Power BI, and they give us uh, and the user the end user of the dashboard uh, some really good functionality for drilling down into the data. So let's start by um, clicking on this single down arrow here. When I hover over that, it says click to turn on drill down mode. So I'm just going to select that. You notice that nothing happens straight away. But if I go over to manufacturing now and click on the word manufacturing, or I could click on the bar, you can see that it's taken me down a level into what are now uh, departments within that division, within the manufacturing division. And you can actually see if I just deselect my chart here, you can see that the title has changed as well. So we've now got number of absences by division and department instead of just number of absences by division. Now I can click on the single up arrow just to drill back up out of there. Um, and I could deselect my drill mode. Um, and just to show you now, if I click on manufacturing now, instead of drilling down, I'm selecting manufacturing. So that's the, the, the kind of the basic drill down mode um, that Power BI has. Let's have a look at the other two options here. So the first one, I've got go to the next level in the hierarchy, these double down arrows here. Now, if I click on them, you'll notice that it takes me to the department level, but across all of the divisions. Um, so now my title just says number of absences by department, and I've got a list of all of the departments there with a total number of absences for each. Let's drill back up again. Uh, and this time I'm going to click on uh, the split down arrows here, which says expand all down one level in the hierarchy. Let's see what happens when I do that. OK, so what you can see now is that I've got my, um, and it might not be clear if you're not familiar with the division names, but I've got my division name and then my department name. Let's just uh, modify the um, the y-axis on, on this um, to make this a bit clearer. So if I just bring over the maximum size there, you can see the names. So we've got sales and then a customer relations depart, uh, department within that division. I've got the manufacturing division and then design department within that. And I've got the IT division and then a web support department within that. So you can see um, I've got uh, both both categories listed. Um, and I could add in my team underneath this. Let's see what happens when I do that. Um, I could go down again in exactly the same way. You can see I have uh, the sales. Uh, division, customer relations department, and then I've got a uh, customer relations team three under that. 
um, and then I can use the arrows again just to drill back up into the uh, to the top level there so a few different options there for how I drill down within a bar chart um, let's just have a look at how that works down here in this matrix table that I've got so um, when I just select that you'll see that in my rows again here I've got division and department let's just add in team as well there and you can see um, I've actually turned on these plus and minus icons in my matrix table options I'll just show you within the format options here if I go to row headers if I scroll down you can see I've got this toggle for plus and minus icons um, so I've turned that on and, and that allows the user then just to click the plus icon next to finance and they can see the departments under finance and they can click on one of them and they can see the uh, teams under the department and continue to drill down that way we've also got in Power BI um, as of uh, relatively recently at the time of recording um, around April May 2020 we've got the inclusion of this hierarchy slicer um, now what you'll see is that I can uh, I can either select all of finance my dashboard updates accordingly or I can expand finance and again I've got that view of going down division department into the team I can select my teams if I want to there as well so uh, that's that's kind of a simple way of using um, hierarchies within Power BI or drill down at least within Power BI where I've dragged on the individual fields here um, but it can become a bit of a, a pain to have to keep dragging on individual fields into the axis in the in the correct order and particularly if you have to do that across multiple charts and if you have a um, a hierarchy with lots of levels in so you can actually create a hierarchy within Power BI um, that you can just drag on as a single hierarchy into the axis each time um, and the, the first thing to note is that if I expand out my um, absent start date um, field here you'll notice that I've already got one of these pre-created um, and this is uh, Power BI's response to, to identifying this field as a date so I've got this date hierarchy and you can notice the little hierarchy icon that I've got next to that and if I expand that out you can see that within that hierarchy I've got a year, quarter, month, day structure um, so I've got four fields there within that hierarchy um, so let's just have a look and see see how that works when I um, drag it onto my um, onto my line chart over here drag the whole hierarchy in you can see that I start off with year I click on drill down and I can drill down into that year and then I've got the months uh, across the year um, only those where I've got uh, any absences and then I can uh, sorry quarters and then I can drill down from my quarters into my months um, and then from my months into my days and so that's the um, kind of default structure that Power BI gives within within a date hierarchy. You can remove the individual elements here if I wanted to just only include month and day, for example. Um, I can uh, drill down into June, see my days within June, um, and drill back up again in that way. But how do we create these hierarchies for ourselves? Well, it's very simple. If I let's say a department. Um, is the next level down of my uh, division hierarchy so I'm just going to click on department I'm going to drag that over over the top of division and just let go and we'll see that Power BI here creates this new division hierarchy I can then um, I can go to my teams oops I can go to my uh, teams field here and I can just drag that over the top of division hierarchy and you'll see that that gets added to the bottom of the hierarchy there I could rename this if I wanted to, um, so I could call this just my um, org structure. Um, and then instead of having to drag on my individual um, fields, I can just uh, remove them and just drag on the hierarchy as a whole. And that way that can be used across any of the visuals that I, that I like and I don't have to recreate it each time. Um, and again, it works in exactly the same way. I can drill down into my different divisions and departments and teams okay so I hope that's been uh, useful um, and interesting if it has uh, please do uh, like and subscribe and as always if you have any questions or comments please add them to the comments underneath the video and I look forward to speaking to you again